First is coming up with products, hard to do. Second is coming up with organizational models that allow you to both develop and commercialize successfully the new product, the new service, which is even harder to do because it involves more people. Then the third level of creativity is the need to develop an environment in which the organization operates and, and, and which the, um, the innovation works. And if the first two are hard, um, the third is even harder. I, I love the idea of a book called Innovation for Dummies because the reality is for this to succeed, to, to, we have to make it about that simple. Right? We have to sort of think about so the basic, basic building blocks so that people can then start to put together the, building, the basic building blocks creatively. So let's think about what the building blocks are that you'd want to have in the Innovation for Dummies book. Um, one building block would be to say, hire really, really smart and intelligent people. Right? And, and hire a set of people. A set, some people who are really good at looking at new products and services, other people who are really good at looking at market opportunities and, and thinking about using the market opportunities both to identify opportunities to create new products and look, looking for ways of develop, taking whatever product you've got and fitting them, fitting, them, fitting them into market opportunities. So it starts with getting really, really good people. And, and don't cut corners. I mean, there's no way that, that incompetent people, cheap incompetent people are going to turn out good stuff. But that's the easy part, okay? Because because there's there's an ama there's actually a really good supply of, of smart people, and one of the wonderful things about being in a place like Holland um, is, a in fact, is the base of smart people and, and well-educated people that we can go to, um, coming out of universities like Tilburg, coming out of universities th throughout the really throughout the country. So the second part is is recognizing the need to build an effective organization, and that one sounds simple and it's really hard to do. Very often you have a whole bunch of s smart people and you add them up into a really dumb organization. And, and I, I hope I'm not stepping any toes, but, but on any toes, but let me take Philip, Philip, the example of Philips. There was a point in Philips' life when it was a very, very, it was an organization, it was a company made up of really smart people that were adding up into a really, sub really frankly, fairly weak organization. Uh, that was about 20, 15, 15 years ago or so. And, and the company, frankly, fa came fairly close to failing. Um, and the reason it survived and, and is thriving again is because it shifted from being a, c a company made up of smart people that added up to something that didn't work very well. Is it's really paid a lot of attention to what it needs to do organizationally, both within the country and across the world. And, and it's now actually, in, in many parts of the company at least, a company that I, think, I, th I certainly think of as a company made up of smart people that add up to a very effective organization. And so the second part of, of sort of the, 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 dumb, the Four Dummies book for innovation is to recognize that it's not enough just to have smart marketers, smart technical people, smart lawyers. They've got to be able to work together effectively in an organization that, that is really targeted towards understanding market opportunities and taking all these the, the smart things that people are working with and pulling them together to, to, to suit market organizations. Um, and then we need a third thing, which is um, smart politicians. And this one's even harder. Because we can have really, or, or not smart, well, no, I, I take that back. We have, we, we have lots of smart politicians, but we need smart politics. We need smart, smart bureaucracies. We need sort of social infrastructure that's capable of developing laws, to, capable of investing in the infrastructural elements that, we're, that, that, that we've been talking about um, that support commercial endeavor and support, especially in support innovative e endeavor. And, and in reality, I think what that means is we need really thoughtful interaction between innovators, business leaders, political leaders, um, bureaucrats, in thinking about what we need politically. So, you know, if we think about success and failure of, of innovations, sometimes the success, is, success and failure is, is driven because you just have a brilliant idea. More commonly, it's the success and failure arises because you've got a great idea, you build an organization, and you, find, and, and you, cre you, you creatively think about the environment in which you have to operate. And so there's, there's a huge number of really, really good ideas that fail because of bad organization. And there's, there's actually a bunch of good organizations and good ideas that fail because people don't go the next step of thinking about what you need to do in the environment. Whether it's work effectively with a university in order to, to get access to good people, whether it's to work, work effectively with a local government to think about how you need to tailor um, some, some of the, the, the regulatory policies towards, towards, the, towards the needs of the company. Um, but boy, there's a host of good ideas and, and potentially successful organizations that fail because people don't go the next step.